Hello everybody, this is Eric's Variety Show here, and I am going to do a how-to video on replacing a light on a 92, a side marker directional and cornering light on a 92 to 97 Ford Crown Victoria. I have here the new light, which I was lucky enough to find on Craigslist. So Chris is going to model it here. That I managed to score for 20 bucks, which is pretty good considering the uh, cheapest I could find online was starting at $40 for a used one. This one here, as you can see, is out of a 96. So, so that should fit, correct? Yeah, it should fit. Okay. They're all, they're all the same. So first, as you can see here, there are two nuts here, and those are the, and it's hard to see with the sun, but there's a nut there, and there's a nut down there, and first we're going to there's remove those. Okay, so three, uh, three tool kits later. <laughs> <laughs> Hope we don't get mixed up on this. For, uh, no, trust me, I know. That's for three thing. ratchet extensions, <laughs> which I recommend because this space here is odd to work in. If you have just one ratchet right here, it, it doesn't work very well. And then, you know, one over here, it works better. Two, you know, then you got this spot, This you got this spot here that it hits up again, so it makes it hard, but with three, you know, over here there's plenty of room to be swinging the thing, and I couldn't get the uh, I couldn't get the bottom one out. This this one was just spinning because it broke in there. But now the next thing we do, uh, I, mean, I can be happy to help out on this. Is you remove this screw here? Let me just make sure I got it the right way. Yes, I do. Watches little chunks of plastic fall onto the ground. Uh, it's, um, how do they say it? Bio environmental or something? Or environmentally friendly. Environmentally friendly or bio friendly? This, this, this shouldn't be that long. Okay. Ugh. You freaking whore. Come on. And you're recording this. I want to be professional. Oh. Okay. And here we are. We are now. We are now at the wiring part of this. Now, um, as you can see, this bulb is still in its socket, but it looks. Uh, come on. Oh, there's a spider. Oh, cool. A long came spider. <laughs> he just fell into the snow. Where the heck did he go? He oh, no, I, no, no, I'm trying to find him on the camera, but I found him. Okay. Anyways, it's some random spiderage there. <laughs> Let's see if I can get this bulb out. Uh, there we go. What about this? Now, this bulb here, this is no good. It, it got cracked at the base and, um, I only figured that out when I tried to see if it still worked because it. I put on the flashers, I came out and checked it, and it was smoking. Yeah, it does look cracked. Wow. And oh, it was cracked at the base. Where oh. You can't see it inside the plastic. And it was smoking, and then it stopped working, even though uh, I can't see it on the camera, but the filament's still in there. Now, I was lucky enough that this came with bulbs. What about this bulb here? Is that, is that still workable? This one here is still good. Okay, so why don't you save that one? Well, actually, what I'm going to do is you see here, there's a plug. Oh. I'm going to just unplug this whole thing and then plug this one in. If the plugs are the same, which they should. They should be. All right, so we'll get back to you in a minute. All righty, now uh, we got the old light out, unplugged. Get the, because uh, when they took this one out, they just simply cut the wiring, which, 
after the plug, which I think now is a great idea because this one was such a pain to get out. But, uh, you know, this this plug actually looks a little better than that one did. What a difference two years makes. And it came out a lot easier, but definitely. now we just plug it in here. Do you want me to hold the camera while you do that? Yeah, sure. Absolutely. <clears throat> now we just plug this in here. And... I think this piece is optional, but I'm going to take it anyways. Come on. What are you trying to do? Oh, the go. plastic mount. Yep. Uh, on that. Show the viewers. And this went in right here. Oh, I had to take these off. Whoop. These are, these are in so much better shape than the last two nuts. Must, must have, oh crap, I forgot. I gotta get this piece out. Whoops. All right, hold on a second. All right, it should not have taken two people to remove this. But it was just stuck in there pretty good. damn good. It's been in there since, you know, September of... 93? 93, so when the car was built. But anyways, uh... Okay, so we've got this ready to... Oh, well, whatever, I'll just leave that piece there. Uh, got this ready to go in. And... Yeah, it fits like a glove there, Eric. Yep, fits great. And there goes my iPhone. There's that this episode brought to my iPhone. <laughs> and now, I gotta line this screw up with the hole. That is where it belongs. Okay. I would I wanted to fix this rubber trim, but it's just I mean it's it's nice and warm out today. But it's too cold for any glue or anything to stick. Yeah. It's probably 49 and then we'll go February. Oh, uh, don't worry. It'll be like 12 tomorrow. I don't want Minus to 12 the day after. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay, well. <sighs> Anyways. Installation is the reverse of uh, disassembly. disassembly. We'll show you the finished product in a minute due to the magic of video editing. <laughs> and expertise. Expertise. <laughs> All right, and we're just about done here. Uh, oh shit, I didn't even check to see if the light bulbs worked. Uh, <laughs> well, uh, all right. Uh, I'm gonna have Tyler test it or force. Okay, test it. The, uh, the blinker light works. No, those are hazards. Well, yeah, but it's still the same bulb. Now turn on the headlights. That's the knob on the left. Just pull it straight out. And should we show the viewers who don't know what the inside of this model Crown Victoria know where they are later? Uh, no. All right, now, uh, you have the keys, right? Yes, which key is it? It's the big one that doesn't have any plastic on it. The one that says Tango on it? Yes. Uh, turn it. Don't start it because I've got tools right on the battery, but just turn it on and then turn the lights on it. Uh, turn on the right direction. There you go. <laughs> he's got uh, he's got that light on, but the high beams are on. Uh, Those are the high beams. Yeah. Holy crap! All right. 
Hold on a second, folks. There we go. Ah, perfect. Oh, that's a dream. It works. It, that's a dream right there. That's a successful repair. Ah. That's a successful repair. Um, some advice that I would give is, you know, if you if you want to protect the paint, Don't put, 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 put like a blanket or something right here because I chipped the crap out of this with uh, the socket. Uh, but other than that, it's... Excuse Bless me. You. It's a, thank you. It's successful repair. It looks good. It definitely it's, does. Uh, it's a lot cleaner than the old one ever was. Fitted good too. Yeah. It's snugly. Well, yeah. It's the same part. I'm just saying, fits snugly. And uh, yeah, that's it for today's how-to video. Stay tuned for more. I'm hoping to make more of these in the future. And coming up later this year, I am actually going to start doing tours of cars like I've been wanting to. And I'm going to do this one first, but I have to clean all the uh, crap out of it. So stay tuned for... Uh, <laughs> they're laughing because they know. Uh, Moving on. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so stay tuned for that and... Uh, Catch you later.